Well, buckle up, NHL fans, as we're in for a bumpy ride as NHL superstar Jack Eichel and the Buffalo Sabres aren't getting along. Uh, last night, Jack Eichel's agents emailed the statement to The Athletic, and it was not a super long thing, but it was kind of long, so I broke it down into six key points, and here's what they were. One, the process isn't working. I don't know what that means, but that's probably a variety of things. Two, Eichel expected to be traded by the start of free agency. Clearly hasn't happened. Three, the Sabres medical staff originally said Eichel needed surgery, but they may have redacted that belief. Uh, that's interesting. Four, neurosurgeons and other spine specialists believe Jack needs a surgery to repair the herniated disc with artificial disc replacement surgery. Five, Eichel's agents believe he'd be ready to play for the first game of the season if he got the operation done right now. And six, repeated requests have been made since early June for Eichel to get surgery, but the Sabres aren't allowing it. And there is definitely a lot to talk about there, but I think the major thing is two things. They're not allowing him to get the surgery, which we already knew, and the talk of how this isn't working. And let's talk about that first, um, as the Sabres have been rough since Buffalo, or Eichel's been in Buffalo. His rookie year, they finished 7th in the division and 23rd out of 30 teams in the entire league. That's the best they've done in Eichel's tenure there, by the way. His second season in 2016-17, they finished 8th in the division, and they were 26th out of 30 teams in the league. His third season, Eichel and the Sabres were 8th in the division, and they were 31st out of all 31 teams in the NHL. That was actually their first truly bad season. You know, that's crazy there, but yeah, that was the rough, rough season for them. 2018-19, they finished 6th in the division, they were 27th out of 31 teams in the league, and then 2019-20, another 6th place finish, 25th in the league, and then of course this season, 8th in the division, 31st in the league, only their second truly awful season, but the thing is, you look at this, and you say, okay, well they haven't been awful, they definitely haven't been great, they haven't been making the playoffs, um, and usually by the end of the year they aren't sniffing the playoffs, they're kind of a team that for a few years would get off to these crazy starts, the first 15-20 games, and then it would just drop off a cliff. And you look at it and you say, okay, well, Jack's rookie season was the highest they placed in the league, and that wasn't even top 20. And they haven't made the playoffs since 2011, but it looks like they're headed uh, towards another rebuild. I'm not even sure what you'd call what they've been doing the last few years. And to pair that off, you know, you've got a guy that probably needs surgery from what these neurosurgeons are saying. And, you know, Buffalo is like, we're not about that. And the thing is, a herniated disc isn't always painful, I looked it up, uh, but it said that it can be extremely painful and debilitating, and I imagine that it probably doesn't feel good. So, you know, you've got that going on there too, and that kind of factors into while I don't normally say, oh, I'm, you know, pro guys wanting to leave somewhere if things aren't working out really well, I think it's fair for Jack Eichel. Buffalo clearly understands he needs a surgery, but they're not allowing it for whatever reason, um, and at this point, I'd imagine it'd be safe to say Eichel will be traded, but we'll have to see what Buffalo does. Uh, teams are either going to need to trim for him now, or when he has a surgery, or wait to see like what goes on there. And with teams like the Anaheim Ducks, Los Angeles Kings, and Minnesota Wild, New York Rangers, and Vegas Golden Knights being linked to him, it will be interesting to see what happens in Buffalo and how tense it may become. But I do want to say, Buffalo fans, you don't deserve this. You know, you are great fans, and you, I mean, you've been doing your part as fans for a long time and provide a great atmosphere. And, you know, people will talk about the dropping attendance and stuff like that. I will always be a fan of my teams, even if they're bad, but I understand. You know, you have been in this rut, and it's just like it's never ending. So I completely understand it. Just know this is not directed towards you, Sabres fans, because... You guys are great. It is all about the organization and how incompetent things have been for over a decade now. But we'll have to see if Kevin Adams can work himself out of this and Eichel can probably end up somewhere else. Uh, do you think Eichel is going to get traded? Let me know if so. And if so, what team will he be traded to? Let me know down in the comments below. Also, please make sure to like and subscribe. Everybody stay safe. Have a great day. You go love hockey, all right? Goodbye, Brigadiers and Brigadettes. This is your captain signing off. Have a great night.